There's a new firmware for the Mini 2, but does it include smart controller support or anything else interesting? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and if you enjoy these firmware update videos, then hit that subscribe button below. Anyway, the Mini 2 continues to evolve, and DJI keep pushing out new software for it, not just in the DJI Fly app, but also in the drone's firmware. A brand new version appeared just about a week ago called V01020300, and unfortunately, the specification list doesn't look particularly exciting, but what we're gonna do in this video is walk through the updates and describe exactly what they mean. So the first one is added ability to control orientation of aircraft when flying forward during return to home. This is quite a nice idea. When you hit the return to home button, the aircraft will rotate itself automatically to point in the direction where you are. In other words, wherever it's flying to home. But the idea here is that after it's ascended to its return to home altitude, you will be able to use the yaw control on your controller to rotate the drone around to get visibility of what's around you. It won't actually stop or cancel return to home, but it does let you have a look around. The next one is fixed a rare issue, aircraft drifted during flight. Now this has been a problem with DJI drones for a long, long time, whereby when you're flying in a certain direction, the drone drifts to the left or the right a little bit, even if you're not giving that kind of control input. It's very hard to test this one really to understand what has actually changed, but hopefully the drone will behave in the more expected behavior that you'd expect from the drone. Finally, we've got fixed a rare issue, gimbal vibrated when the aircraft descended during return to home. Now this is quite an unusual one and it might be caused by the aircraft descending too quickly into what's called prop wash. This is where as the drone is descending, the props are spinning very fast, generating down thrust. And as the drone descends into that down thrust, it can cause the drone to be unstable and wobble around like that. That's the only reason that I can think of that the gimbal might vibrate during return to home descent. My theory is that all they've done here is slow down the descent rate for return to home. Updating to the latest firmware is very simple. Just simply put your phone into the controller, turn on the drone, turn on the controller and start up the DJI Fly app. At that point, the app will tell you that there is new firmware available. You can click on it to start it downloading and then you can click to actually get it installing. Installation doesn't take long, but just make sure you've got a fully charged battery in your drone before you start the update. Sadly, however, no smart controller support. That's very frustrating, especially seen as this little Mini 2 has OcuSync. However, it will eventually arrive, we hope, as it did with the Mavic Air 2. It just might take a little more time. Comment below with your thoughts around this firmware or any enhancements that you would like to see in the next firmware for the Mini 2. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about in this video. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.